we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Our thoughts, our actions, Father, you know them. We've come with this frustration and regret and we call out to you. Father, you said surely in the time of trouble to call out to you and we call upon you, Lord, please give us answers. You've promised to do according to our desires. May we all receive satisfaction. When we look back, our sins and our iniquities are so dirty and filthy, but still by the blood of Christ, you will wash them away without a trace. You won't even remember them. And, you, and we believe this promise that you will make us your children. Today we've come to receive these miraculous answers. We've come to receive help. We've come to receive happiness for our families. We've come to receive satisfaction in all things. We've come to receive the promise where our children do well. We've come so that our country and our people can live. As your children, may this be a time where we give you glory. May we realize and become a man of honor and receive your promised blessings. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Please repeat after me, sheep. So today, the blessings are prepared in front of us. The blessings of health, the blessings of material, blessings, all blessings. But me not being able to make them mine, we have to realize what it is that I'm doing wrong. And as long as we obey the word, even if Pastor Park can harm you and say deceive, can deceive you, but the Father's word, there's nothing that will harm us. So let's obey his word and receive blessings. So no matter what's been wrong so far, as long as we confess, then then it's okay. You say, I was such a bad you know, person in the past. No matter, even if you were the worst you know, dish where you were used to for poo, if you're put into the furnace and melted and you're made into a food dish, then, you know, there is no past. So let's find James chapter 2, verse 17, 18, 19. Even the demons know that God is one. So we say that we believe and we say that God is one, but why is it we bite each other, tear each other apart, say my faction, your faction? This is what has ruined our country. God's wrath, it doesn't just end with me. Because of you, everyone around you has to suffer. So it's because of us believers, us, the saints, that the difficulties have come to our country. So let's become, let's, by my, let's obey. So by my obedience, Korea lives. But people don't want to obey. So this is not something that, it can be done by my strength. It's God's gift. James chapter 2, verse 17 to 19. Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being by itself. But someone may well say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without the works and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. The demons also believe and shudder. Amen. So when it says, do you believe that God is one? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 5. If you believe that God is one, then how is it that you can make these factions and that you can, that's what it's saying. How is it that God is one, yet your spouse relationship, you argue, you say that you believe in God, but why, is, why are you different here, different there? Well, why is Busan First Church different? I don't know. All I know is that we're following the word. So if you're different to us, either Pusan First Church is fake or the other is fake. One or the other is fake. But if the one doing according to the word is fake, well, what, what can we say? So we are just following the word. Why? Because God is one. Not 
Not just that, the way to get to God is one, Christ is one, faith is one, the baptism is one, the Holy Spirit is one. So to go inside of Christ and to go toward God, already if you're doing this, you become one. If you cast out demons by the Holy Spirit and go toward the Father, then you become one. So there's nothing for us to do but go inside of Him. because So if we do according to the Word, miracles will happen. We will do well. It's God's Word that makes us do well. So what we have to focus on, what we have to receive grace by, is James chapter 2, verse 17. Let's read it again. Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being by itself. Amen. So this is what the Holy Spirit is emphasizing. James chapter 2, verse 19. Even the demons know that God is one and they shudder. They believe and they shudder. But how fake are you? God is one, and yet why do you have so many denominations? That's what it is saying. So it's saying you're worse than a demon. Isn't this so sad? And yet why is it that when we, we're not allowed to preach this sermon? How fake are you that you can't preach this sermon? So what is faith? Faith is obedience. John chapter 3, verse 36. Faith is obedience. So faith without actions is dead, so it's useless. That's what it's saying. Well, then this obedience, so Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, because faith is a gift of God, just because you attend church for a thousand years, that's not how God gives you faith. Even if it's one hour, even if you come here for the first time, if you obey the word, God will give you faith because he is almighty. It's not like us where things take time. If we weren't, because we're not almighty, we, we might say it's going to take you know a few days, but because he's almighty, he makes it happen straight away. So because Pastor Park also depends on this promise, I may see someone for the first time, they've come to God for the first time, I tell them to do something and they obey, and they heal their disease and they get up. But you know what's most dangerous? As they go back, if if that comes back and the demons enter, then then the demons enter and because they can't maintain that faith. So that's the problem. So God gives faith as a gift. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. So if you're always being trained in this, then the, then the faith doesn't depart. So you're not going to spill it and, and you know, you're not going to get those things coming back. So what is faith? It's not what you think and what you know is knowledge. It's to change to action. It's this living it's it's so obedience faith is obedience which is god's gift john chapter 3 verse 36 so what is this obedience it's faith so you have to go to heaven and you have to receive everything so obeying is where your actions are changed over. It's not just with your words that you obey or words that you believe. That's dead. So Deuteronomy chapter 28, let's find uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 to 6. That's in the front. So when there's something important, you know, we'll, we'll vow and we'll say with my body and life. You know, but that's how you can see Deuteronomy here, 28 from verse 1 to 6. Uh, what page is it? 303. So from v uh, verse 1 to 6. Now it shall be, if you diligently obey Jehovah your God, being careful to do all his commandments which I command you today, Jehovah your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey Jehovah your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the offspring of your body and the produce of your ground and the offspring of your beasts, the increase of your herd and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Amen. So what is faith? It is obedience. If you obey, he's saying he'll give you these blessings. These blessings are where you become chief in the world. So he's saying to give you these blessings, but we can't receive because we don't obey. So he's so he's given these um, this incredible promise of blessings. What happens if we don't obey? Let's find Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 26. So we say we believe, but if we don't obey, you know, if it's not your denomination, you slander and you won't have anything to do with them. You know, he says you'll be cursed. 
So here, James chapter 2, verse, 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 from verse 16, if someone's hungry and you just say, oh, eat a lot, what's the point? What's the use of that? So, so in verse 16, saying fakes like that, it's not going to work. So if somebody just says things by their words, it's not going to work. You know, if someone's hungry and you just say to them, eat a lot, no, you don't have to say anything. You just give them a bowl of food. So there's no point saying believe, believe. So, starting from you to obey and to receive these blessings. If you don't receive them, if you disobey, what will happen? You will be cursed. So, Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 26, let's read it together. Cursed is he who does not confirm the words of this law by doing them. And all the people shall say, Amen. This scary curse, even if you receive this, and it happens exactly, he's saying to say amen. So how scary is this promise? If you disobey this word, if you don't believe, if you don't obey, then you will be cursed. And then it's not just that, he's saying, and you have to say amen to that. In other words, you will receive that exactly. But on the other hand, if you obey, what will happen? So I'm going to read from Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Now it shall be, if you diligently obey Jehovah your God, being careful to do all his commandments. So if you listen, then it says, being careful to do all his commandments which I command you today. So when it says all commandments, you're thinking, oh gosh, I'm dead. How am I going to do this? Well, you don't have to worry. Romans chapter 13, verse 10. If you receive the Holy Spirit, I can't do it, but love comes out. When you have this love, that's the same as keeping all of this word. That's why you have to receive the Holy Spirit. But if you've received the Holy Spirit, if it's the same as keeping all of the word, that's what God says. If it is the same, then how can you have my denomination, your denomination? It doesn't make sense. So even demons know that there is one God. Do they just know or do they believe and know? They believe. They believe that God is one and they shudder and yet they, and yet they still go to hell. But we're worse than demons. We don't believe that God is one. That is what is so regretful. So because we don't believe, that's why your spouse relationship doesn't become one, your family doesn't become one, your country doesn't become one. So when we have problems, someone who's drowning, they're going to clutch at straws, but it's useless. But if you're so urgent, that's what you're going to do. That's what people say. In other words, if you're if you're frustrated, you're just going to try all sorts of things. So I'm going to read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 again. Now, it shall be if you diligently obey Jehovah your God, being careful to do all his commandments, which I command you today. So now you're like, so now you've heard how you, this is possible because it's God who makes it happen. Then, so Jehovah your God. So who is Jehovah? He is almighty. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. Well, then what does he do? He can make you alive or dead, give you blessings, take them away, give you disease or heal them. He does everything. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. He will set you high above all the nations of the earth. There's nothing for you to do. Oh, I'm old. I'm uneducated. It's not you that does it. I'll do it for you. Oh, but I am educated. What about me? He's saying you too can do well because he's almighty. So he's saying he will make you high above all the earth. So he will make Korea above all the earth because we've received the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ, the mystery of godliness. We've received all the mysteries. With this, we have to do well. We believe we will do well. Everyone will do well. So that's how we should live. But if you obey, this is what you'll receive. But if you don't obey, what will you receive? You'll receive curses. There's nothing but ruin. So 
So if you're ruined personally or the country's ru ruined, have you obeyed God's word or not? So if you obey his word, he will make you high on the earth. But if you disobey, you'll only receive curses. So God says, you say amen. This is what God has written. And then verse 2, it says, So if you obey Jehovah your God, all these blessings will come upon you. So they will, all of these will come exactly to you. And a thousand generations will do well. Exodus chapter 34, verse 7. Do, uh, Numbers chapter 14, verse 18. Well, then why am I not doing well? Well, what is it your ancestors have done that you're not doing well? They have disobeyed. Then what should I do? Today, if you confess, it will end. If your clothes are dirty and you say, Oh, Father, you know my ancestors poured all this filth on my clothes. If you confess, he will Will make them new. There is no past. From today, let's have a new start. A new start. Let's re all receive this. We will do well. All you have to do is obey. Then he will make you high. Chief in the world. He will make all blessings come to you. Blessings of health. Blessings of a peaceful heart. Money. Your children doing well. To go to heaven. To be a patriot. To give benefit to others. He'll make everything happen. So then verse 3. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. So what's this saying? So, so let's say it's saying, let's say Pusan, you know, it's in the city and out in the fields, you know, anywhere you go, whether you go to America, whether you're in Korea, you receive when, when you obey my word. And so then verse 4, it says, blessed shall be the offspring of your body. In other words, your children, the children that are from your body, not just that, and the produce of your ground. So then the children of Korea, wherever they go in the world, they will do well. Even if they stay here, they'll do well. Even your property will do well. Your, the offspring of your beast, the increase of your herd and the young of your flocks, even they will be blessed. You know, other places they may have one calf, but in Korea we'll have two calves, so like double and... So if there are, if your animals are suffering in your at your place if you repent they everything becomes released god will make you experience amazing things if you obey god's word what happens your children will do well whatever you do you will do well even if you buy land you'll do well even if you raise animals they will do well even if you have a little shop it will do well everything will do well is this amen and so then verse 5 blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl everything almighty God who does everything because he helps that's why we have to receive everything how good is God your household will fix their destiny Korea will do well and so then verse 6 blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out whether I'm in Korea, I receive blessings. Whether I, I go overseas, I receive blessings. This word, I'm witnessing to you. It happens exactly. What is it that you have to do? All you have to do is obey. But obedience is not something that I re research. Whatever someone tells me to do, I do. Oh, turn on the light. You turn it on. If Turn it off. Turn it off. So there's nothing that I, there's not one thing that I'm doing. So, so we just have to obey exactly. But this obedience is a gift of God. Let's find John chapter 3, verse 36. Tonight, let's receive this gift. If you receive this gift, all of your household will change. You will become chief in the world. If you want to become chief in the world, then Korea will become chief in the world. Your children, a thousand generations, will do well. Let's all receive these blessings. And as children of God, let's give glory. There are no problems. It's because we haven't obeyed. If we don't obey, it's curses. If we obey, it's blessings. So all we have to do in front of God is to obey. To say amen this way, to say amen that way. All we do is obey God's word. So John chapter 3, verse 36. 
He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Amen. So, so those who believe in the Son have eternal life. They receive all blessings on this earth. Those who obey the Son, that's what they receive. But if you don't obey, you won't receive. So what is faith? It's to receive eternal life and all blessings on the earth. And that is obedience. So faith is obedience. Because faith is obedience, obedience is a gift. Because faith is a gift. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Let's find this. And that's why faith is a gift. So even obedience is a gift. So if you receive this gift, everything will work out. So tonight, let's receive this gift of obedience. All this time, things didn't do well. Let's receive solutions. What won't work out? Whether you go in or whether you go out, you'll receive blessings. Someone who's unfortunate, if they fall back, their nose bleeds. If they fall forward, their teeth fall out. There's nothing that works out. But someone who has fortune, even though they t fall back, a, 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 something, a seed falls into their mouth. or And if they fall forward, they fall onto a taffy. So after they've fallen, there's a taffy in their mouth. You know, that's how blessed you should be. So we can fall this way or that way. When? When we're obeying God. But if you don't even obey, and then, you know, you try to swipe someone's hand back, don't do that. All we have to do is obey. God is so uh, profound and mysterious. So, you know, I see people here who obey, and this happens. As soon as they obey, when I see how things work out so well, and both sides are happy and it's because both sides have obeyed and they receive miracles. These miracles, your diseases are healed. The blessings are in front of you. If you just obey, you'll receive them all. Let's receive these blessings and give glory to God. Let's receive solutions. All we have to do is obey. Then miracles will happen. Let's surely change. So let's read Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Amen. Amen. So faith is a gift of God. So obedience is a gift of God. If you receive this gift, whether you go in or whether you go out, you'll receive blessings. You'll do well. This obedience is where my flesh moves ex moves through to actions, to obedience. So let's obey. So if we repent, God will give us this heart of obedience. If we obey then, then the problems will be solved. Sold. We'll only receive blessings. We'll become chief in the world. That's what will happen to Korea. You, Korea, will become chief in the world. Tonight, today, let's receive blessings. Let's, clo let's close our eyes quietly. Father, how much haven't I obeyed? Still because of my thoughts and my theories. I'm outside of Christ, not obeying. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 to 6. Today, help us to throw this away. And whatever inspiring you give in our heart to obey. And so then whether we go in or come out to, to receive blessings for our children do well, where our household does well, where our business, even our bowls do well. May this happen for all the saints of Pusan First Church. What am I still? Am I still tied to my thoughts and my theories, my cultured, you know, the, the manners and culture? What, what comes first? May we obey first. And may we receive solutions for all things. If we change the order, may we be forgiven. Those with problems, may they receive solutions may receive all blessings. By me becoming chief in the world, may Korea become chief in the world. May we receive solutions for all problems. May they all become blessings. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. At this time, it's because of my thoughts and my theories. Let's confess this to God and change. Let's change these problems to obedience. 